Guys, I just got a free VIP server in Roblox Ninja Legends, guys, with a super easy, simple hack. What is up, Clickbait here. Welcome back to another Roblox Ninja Legends video, guys. So in today's video, guys, I will be going over some of the best tips and tricks in this game, guys. So I made a video like this before, guys, but this time, this is more focused towards beginners. So if you guys want to get farther in this game, get higher, get more chi, coins, ninjutsu, just want to be an overall better player at this game, guys, then I, you know, watch this video, guys, and stay tuned, and you will learn all the best tips and tricks there are in this game. Hey guys, so basically the first tip is a lot of people they'll start jumping guys, but like when they try to get to new islands, it takes them so long to get up to higher ones. And as you know, each island gets harder to get to because they get bigger spaces and different types of clouds. So for the first island, most people they would first start off with one jump and they would not even know what this upgrade is for. So guys, I recommend really going to the store and then buying these four jumps. Cause what five, sorry. Because what these will do guys. It will give you more abilities to jump, like one, two, three, four, five, letting you get higher and easier to get to new islands. But if you don't have that, you're gonna have to jump on these things to really give you an advantage. And it's basically impossible to get to the first island, Enchanted Island, um, to get there. So all you guys have to do is go to the shop, make sure you use your um, first bamboo sword, maybe upgrade your belt a little, get some higher swords. So you go to the store, maybe you'll get up to enraged katana guys go to belt maybe you get a blue belt right guys so from here make sure you just keep grinding like this guys and you should be able to get enough coins go over here and then try to get as many jumps as you can now for this you do not need five jumps but it should help you guys a lot make this easier so there is a glitch in this game i have talked about this before so guys if you um are new to this game this can really help you guys get higher and it can be very effective so all you guys gotta do just jump up once with your double jump and just land like this and then see, look, you get really high. So again, all you have to do, guys, go like this. Boom, double jump. And see, now you're just standing here. Press the space bar, and boom, look how high you go. And then that's one of the first tips. Then from here, guys, you do that again, right? Let's say you have like two or three jumps. You couldn't afford all of them. You press this button, and one, two, three, boom. Now, if you don't, if you only have two, so let's say you like want it kind of high, just try to land on a lower spot like this. If you do land on an island like this and you don't land on a cloud, this is very key. Most people will just keep jumping. Now, this can work, guys, but it is very highly, like very, very highly recommended, guys. If you only have like two or three jumps, go on these pointy trees. You can go on the flat ones, but usually these ones are higher. Try to get as high as you can on them. Maybe use your jumps to get up here, guys. And you can already see you have a pretty big height difference. And this can actually be very effective if you don't have that many jumps. Just think about it. So let's say... You're kind of stuck and let's say um you want to aim up there now obviously you're not going to have enough jumps if you only have three like one two three but then if maybe if you get four you get a better chance of getting up there you get the point if you get good aim you recommend though is try to go very slowly if you only have three amount of jumps so as you can see already went from the tree up to here only took one jump so you can see right here one two a little bit higher and then what i would do if you realize that you're starting to get stuck here like one two now if you have three you can get up here but guys if you don't have enough jumps i would go down do a little more like sword grinding get some more ninjutsu sell it get your next jump so you can continue going remember guys get back on the next tree this is a pretty high one you can see the difference and now what you want to do guys you really want to look around the surroundings so what i would do i would take your sword away make sure you don't have any pets equipped because if you are a rookie you don't need any pets yet i will explain this later and why you don't need them yet so to zoom in what i like to just look up see what's around you so i know enchanted island is right there i got an island right there and then i got an island up there so i can tell myself guys that's gonna take more than three or two jumps to get up there okay i see a cloud right there not that big of a difference and so i think what i'm gonna aim for guys is maybe that island over there so guys what you can do you go in the tree and so maybe i'll aim for this cloud right here only took one jump and then I'll go to this island. So what I'm doing, I'm just problem solving, getting to these islands with a few amounts of jumps. And then one, two, three. Boom, it only took three jumps. You land back on the tree. You can see you're already getting higher to Enchanted Island, guys. 
just use your problem solving skills. You see, we're so close to Enchanted Island. We've only used like three jumps, guys. And then you look, you see this cloud? One, two, boom, there you go. Next one, one, two. And guys, while you do this, I recommend, if you are on computer, keep clicking. So one time, when the time was up, you can sell it. And if you do have a belt, that's fine. Just try to get um, as much in tissue as you can. So now you look around, you see that one's higher. So the only thing that you're gonna do for you guys, you're gonna really wanna aim for Enchanted Island. So as you can see, yes, these are higher, but now since you wanna get closer to Enchanted Island, you wanna get as close as you can to the edge like this. And if you can make it guys, try your best. So look, one, two, three, and boom. I made it just like that, super easy guys. And guys, remember, that only took me max of three jumps. Guys, so now we're on to the next part of beginning um, to a higher level basically. So we've already gone over our jumping things. We know how to glitch the jump pads to get higher. We know how to use trees to conserve our jumps. So now what I would do, if I were you, once you get up here, I would go back to the ground and for a little, for a little just like save up basically. So like, just keep grinding some ninjutsu guys. And then when you're ready, just sell it guys. And then as you sell it, you can go back to the shop. And then what I would do, get some higher swords. So maybe, you know, you get like the shadow blade Maybe you get up to like, uh, let's say probably, you're probably a golden belt if you go for a little. And so now you have a pretty decent inventory, guys. And so now what you can do, you just keep pressing this, right? You'll just go back to your teleporter. You probably have like two or three jumps. And make sure you do sell it so you can get your fifth jump. Now by now, you should have your fifth jump. And it might um, cost a little more if you're going to have to buy invisibility to get the next jump. But just do it, guys. Invisibility doesn't really do that much, but... I mean, it's just a way to get to your next jump. So just do it, guys. It doesn't hurt that much. Okay, guys. So as you get up here, this is where you really want to start getting into the game. So first of all, when you're on the bottom, like I'll go back there. So the pets down here, they're just not worth it. So when you start the game, you know, like 2,000 chi, like 1,000 chi, they're just not worth it, guys. You really just want to get instantly um, to the first island so you can start getting the best pets. So guys, if you do go to this waterfall, you will notice that there are some pets in here. And see, they're only 3,500 tree cheese. So like, you really just want to go to Enchanted Island to get your first pets. We've gotten to this island. Now what you want to do, go collect your cheat chest. So since you can do this, guys, it will really help you get your chi over here, go up. You see, I've already collected it. So if you were a beginner, you probably would have gotten probably around 4,000 because, you know, I have all the stuff on right now that a beginner would have. You have no multipliers yet. Um, and so what I would do, guys, go over to your enchanted crystal. Now, guys, this is where you're going to get your first actual pet that can probably help you in the game. So what you're going to do, guys, just open one. It doesn't really matter the rarity yet because none of them are going to be that good. They're all going to help you buy a little. So guys, you can see right now, this chest gives me 4,000 chi. And for a click, I get 2,075. Now, if you hold open one, guys, your luck might be decent, might be not. So I got a basic red bunny. But guys, for beginners, that is not bad at all. So no worries, guys. So you got your red bunny, right? 1.5 coins, 1.5 chi. Now, if you equip this, guys, you can already see. So look, I'm making 2,075k still. But there actually is a difference, it's just very hard to see. Because, actually, it's not actually affecting your ninjutsu. Because look, it's only coins and chi. So you only start to get um, pets infecting your ninjutsu when you get to higher pets. What they did affect is, look, it's now 6,000. So now what you can start to do, is you can start to open more and unlock more, giving you better, um, basically, stats and things to get in the game, which makes you get to a higher level and makes you grind faster. And this will also make you selling coins, um, it'll make your coins be worth more, like your ninjutsu worth more, almost as if, like, you're gaining more profit. Like, basically, what I'm saying is, you didn't really do that much, but you got such a great deal out of it. You only spent, like, what was it, um, 6,000 chi? So, maybe it took you a while to get it, I don't know. But it only took you, like, 6,000 chi to get it. And you already have pretty good multipliers from it. By now, I'm guessing that you guys are probably starting to understand how the process of this game works. So, basically, guys, now um, you want to know how to get chi faster and how to get more pets so you can progress even farther in the game and start to really become more powerful now obviously you could start saving up for your next rank which would be grasshopper now that is obviously a great thing to do now you could do that on your free time but another thing you want to do is you want to learn how to get more chi so guys if you follow the path by sell 
you can go over to King of the Mountain. Now, if you don't know what this is, guys, this is a really easy way of making chi while you are gone. So, guys, one thing that you can do here, you can also um, grind some ninjutsu while you're making probably about 16, around 15 chi, or even 22, like you saw here. So, um, a way to do this, you can, like, leave your computer on all night. If you're on mobile, this will not work, most likely. But, if you leave your computer on all night, you can get something called an auto-clicker. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. There are many different auto-clickers to choose from, and I've talked about this before in my first video. But guys, now I really just want to help you guys get better if you are new. So I'm just going to explain this again. So guys, what you want to do is you want to type in free mouse clicker. Now, I know there are many clickers out there, like auto clickers, but the reason I use this is because there's no, requires no membership after a certain amount of time. And it is totally adware free, guys. I've used this for a very long time, and I promise you there should be zero adware. So all you got to do is just hit download free mouse clicker, click this download down here, hit open guys and then right here as you can see this will come up now all you have to do guys is go back into your game right keep this open and what i do make sure your hours is at zero your minutes are at zero your seconds are at zero and milliseconds i don't think matters i just put it at 21 now for here you can put your commands for how you want it to start for me i just do control f1 and to stop i just do control f2 make sure your mouse action is on the left button and then your action is single click, okay? So once you are here in your game, make sure, um, the ba basically the reason you have this is to make sure your game never goes AFK, and also, so that you can also grind ninjutsu also. And if you don't have a belt that will hold all of this, you don't really need to do this, but you still can just so you don't go AFK and you can still grind chi. So basically all you have to do, you just hit the command that you have, like this, mine's control F1, and as you can see, look, I am clicking like that, over and over and guys i'm only clicking so fast because i have a game pass it probably won't be as fast for you unless you have the fast sword game pass and as you can see i am not pressing anything on the keyboard it is totally just a free mouse clicker guys and i really recommend that you guys should use this if you are new it could get you up to way higher level way faster than you ever expected you got your mouse clicker now you got your pet you found new ways to get up to islands with less jumps but now you're wondering so I can do this, right? I can grind, I can get more chi, but obviously I'm not gonna be the strongest in the server. So how do I grind all night without getting killed? And guys, I have a way so you guys can get a free VIP server with maybe probably only one person in it. But most likely, usually when I do this, guys, there's zero people in it, and this could help you um, way more. This could basically change any game of Roblox, and all you gotta do is do a simple download in Google Chrome or Firefox. Hey guys, so go back to your Google browser, guys, and all you have to type in is BTR Roblox, okay? So basically, this is a Google Chrome extension, or it can be a Firefox extension, guys. And to prove that this is totally safe, it is actually on the Google Chrome store, and so there will be no virus, guys. It is totally safe. All you gotta do is just hit add to Chrome. Mine says remove because I already have it up here. And guys, this is probably one of the best Roblox extensions you will find on this store. So guys, all you have to do from here, it's super easy. Go to your Roblox games page. Just click on the Martial Arts Ninja Legends game, right? Now, all you have to do is go to servers, right? To scroll all the way down. And you will notice that there is a new bar here, right? 558 pages out of like one, right? So or one of 558 and so basically to get this free VIP server you got to use some estimation so obviously guys basically you're already at like they say you're already at like 558 that's the max amount so if you go to 500 right there's gonna be zero servers because I don't know why but Roblox just doesn't have as many servers as they say they do so what you can do if you use your estimation maybe like 400 right boom so you can tell there are three people in this but that is still almost like a public server that's way too many so maybe if we go to like 450 and you can see one person in this game so now if we press join as roblox is loading in it will most likely either say that um there's only one person in here or it might say this game is not valid anymore because someone has left and there's zero people in now sometimes you could be in here guys and someone will leave and it'll literally just be a private server so as you can see, there is only one person in here, guys. And so now, 
you can go to King of the Hill, and sometimes they will be here like this. And so guys, if this does happen to you, there's nothing you can really do. So what I recommend doing, guys, is joining a new server, just like I just did. You could probably stay in the same area, and then go back to King of the Hill. So, I've joined a new server. It's super easy. Just go back to your, like, your um, homepage that was open. Just click join one, and see, obviously, there's no one here. Now, sometimes you could join one, and there could be two other people in, but usually, that would be the max, and usually, people will leave. So guys, from here, take your auto clicker back out, and boom. You are grinding just like that, guys. Super easy, super effective. Everybody should use this, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope all you beginners out there get farther in this game, and I really hope that these tips helped you guys out. All right, guys, later.